and the tight alliance of nations centralized around the United States, which on foreign policy functioned as a single empire. The only beneficial thing that such a blood-soaked empire could do for the good of the world is to cease its behavior and cease to exist. It is not the benevolent good guys standing off the bad guys. It is the bad guys. are contributing to the growth of more and more factions of more terror outfits that then terrorise the local population and then in their wisdom the West decides to ask some of those terror outfits to take government. Thank you so much all for coming together to stand together to demand justice for those against which such horrific crimes have been committed. What happened in Afghanistan was the murder and torture of innocent people. Innocent people and children leaving families torn apart and leaving communities in ruin. And that has been happening for the last 20 years. The heinous crimes committed by Australia are yet another shameful chapter in our history. I do want to acknowledge the courage of whistleblowers like David McBride and the journalists here and in Afghanistan who put their necks on the line, who put their lives on the line to get the truth out in the open. And they must be protected. The perpetrators of these crimes and their superiors must be held to account and they must face the full force of the law. Justice has to be served here. What do we want? Troops out. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Troops out. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Troops out. When do we want it? Now. The military are just as good and just as bad as every other military. We are not wonderful bronze Aussies who love a beach and a good laugh and a, and a, a scooter of beer. There's a deeper, darker side of us that is the same as everybody else. And we must stop idolising our troops. We must stop having monuments all over the place. On, the, on my trip here, I passed huge monuments to our soldiers. But we know that every one of those monuments holds a dark secret. And the dark secret is that those people committed war crimes just as much as anybody else. We know some of the details, just the tip of the iceberg of the, the murder um, and the horrific crimes that Australian troops um, uh, perpetuated. Um, you know, cases of killing at close range, cases of killing um, innocent, unarmed people and consistently planting radios on these people are to make their acts permissible in the eyes of the law. Shame. But we have to be clear that these crimes are not exceptions to the rule. These crimes are systematic. They are the tactics that have been used um, and have been uh, confirmed from the very top. Um, and they have been consistently hidden from the public. The crime is war itself. From the moment the Afghan war was a reality, we knew that countless Afghans would lose everything, their lives, their loved ones, their lands, their livelihood, any semblance of a normal life. And it was a foregone conclusion that thousands of them would have no choice but to become refugees. And for those of them who tried to come here, they would make themselves the target of Australia's other brutal war, the war on asylum.